I don't hear it, Ellen. Is this on? Okay. Good morning. Again, I am not Pastor Hiley. Um, we get a, an update from Lisa in a minute. Uh, he's, uh, he's resting again today. This is the week of the chemo, and uh, this week was better, so I'll have Lisa kind of give you an update, if you wouldn't mind, Lisa. Sure. So continue to keep Pastor in your prayers. It's an every other week thing. So this week he seems better. Um, the, the body's struggling every time to deal with all of the, the things of chemo. So keep him in your prayers. Um, if you want to look briefly in your bulletin, you'll see that we've received our March prayer calendar for the month. So you'll all have that available for you. Um, as we look forward to the activities, uh, kids club and youth group, um, the women meeting tomorrow, uh, believe, uh, you missed last week, but you rescheduled and everything's moved ahead one week. Um, the elders will be meeting on Tuesday and that's all that we have in the announcements, unless there's something else to add. Other than I'm very grateful that the weather decided to miss us. Um, according to the Hileys, there was no snow because up in Hugo, there, it didn't snow at all. And in my yard, it was sort of like dandruff. It wasn't really snow. <laughs> but in Rochester, they had a foot of snow, so we'll take it. Any other things to announce? Again, I'm very grateful to, uh, to have our our skill at the piano um, as Jeff plays for us. And if you guys get here early and you get to sit down and listen to some of the special music he plays, it's really fun to hear. So we'll have the chance to sing together um, in a minute as, uh, as we bow our heads and prepare our hearts for worship. Dear Lord, we thank you for this day, for your love, for your son, for this time to minister to each other and to offer our sacrifice of praise from our lips to you. Help us to grow in grace and to be close-knit together. Um, help us to see and to hope for things and sometimes to encourage one another who are sometimes distressed. That there is hope and there is encouragement that we can share with each other. In Jesus' name, amen. So let's stand and sing together three of the hymns uh, in the bulletin. One of them's in your hymn book, number 17. So we'll sing, Rejoice, ye pure in heart. He has made me glad and before the throne of God above. Let's stand together as we sing. Rejoice, ye pure in Rejoice, give thanks and sing Your festal banner wave on high The cross of Christ your King Rejoice, rejoice Give thanks, give thanks and sing Bright youth and snow-crowned age Strong men and maidens meek, raise 
high, your free, exalting song, God's wondrous praises speak. Rejoice, 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 give thanks and sing. His voice is full and strong as ocean surging praise. Send forth the hymns our fathers love, the psalms of ancient days. Rejoice, 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 give thanks and sing. Still lift your standard high, still march in firm array. As warriors through the darkness toil, till dawns a golden day. Rejoice, 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 give thanks and sing. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his courts with praise. I will say this is the day that the Lord has made. I will sing and rejoice and make me glad. He, he has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad, he has made me glad, we'll rejoice for he has made me glad. Christ 
Come marvel at this love divine, God's perfect Son was sacrificed to make me righteous in His sight. This river's depths I cannot know, but I can glory in its flood. The Lord Most High has bowed down low and poured on me His glorious love, and poured on me His glorious love. My name is graven on His hand, my name is written on His heart. I know that while in heaven he stand, no tongue can bid me then steep heart. No tongue can bid me then steep heart. Let's take a minute and greet one another.
that's good. Well, why don't you find your way back to your seats? Please open up your bulletins to the scripture reading for today from Psalm 55. Continuing our reading through the book of Psalms. Give ear to my prayer, O God, and do not hide yourself from my supplication. Because of the voice of the enemy, because of the pressure of the wicked, for they bring down trouble upon me, and in anger they bear a grudge against me. Fear and trembling come upon me, and horror has overwhelmed me, I said. Oh, that I had wings like a dove. I would fly away and be at rest. I would hasten to the place of refuge from the stormy wind and tempest. Day and night they go around upon her walls, and iniquity of mischief are in her midst. Let's turn our hearts to the Lord as we pray. Lord, we thank you for this day again, for allowing us to be here together, to fellowship together. And we have many needs, and we also are grateful for what you have been able to do for us in the past, and we trust for your promise to complete what you started. We also pray specifically for the missionary of the week this week, Connie Jarosberg, with World Venture in Uganda, um, that you would continue to meet her needs and for those that she's ministering to. Thank you that she's been faithful, and we can continue to pray for her and supply Um, her with our support. We also pray this week for Pastor and his continuing recovery, that his body would be able to accept this treatment and you would see fit to deal with the cancer um, in your way to proceed, uh, eliminate it if possible, and that the MRI would show progress in that direction. Encourage his heart to stay with it and his family to stay with him as they fine-tune his Uh, adjustments to the medication and rest and what he needs. Also, we pray for our country and our leaders for wisdom, for peace in their words, that you would grant that our country would be able to um, find righteousness and have it exalt us again as a nation. For our study of your word as we look forward to continuing the study of hope, that you would indeed help us to find hope and to give it to others as we see those around us that are distressed and in despair. That encouraging words about what you've done for others can encourage us and encourage each other. Help our hearts to be knit together and to encourage and to support one another 
In Jesus' name, amen.